Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with instructions in programming. Our viewer asks, how to get the next immediate instruction for a given instruction? Let's break down the question. Our viewer is looking for a way to access the next instruction that follows a specific comparison instruction represented as sent 10. This involves navigating through the code to find the corresponding branch instruction that comes next. The challenge lies in ensuring that our solution accounts for both scenarios, when there is a next instruction available and when the current instruction is the last one in a basic block. This is crucial for robust code execution. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To retrieve the next immediate instruction following a given instruction, we first need to understand the structure of the LLVM Intermediate Representation, or IR. In our example, we have a comparison instruction represented as sent 10, followed by a branch instruction. We need to access the instruction that follows sent 10. To achieve this, we can use the getNextNode method provided by the LLVM API. This method allows us to navigate to the next instruction in the basic block. However, we must also check if the next instruction exists. If it does, we can safely cast it to a branch inst to access its properties. Finally, if there is no next instruction, we should handle that case gracefully, indicating that we have reached the end of the basic block. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the next instruction in LLVM, one option is to use CM ints get next node. However, this is considered an internal detail of the LLVM API. A better approach is to use CM inst get next non-debug instruction, which skips over debug instructions. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.